Okay, what I'm doing here, this is, uh, this is like a place where they cut trees, lumber, and they'll cut it like whatever you want. This is for furniture, but I, I just had them cut this tree up, and they cut it with a chainsaw, and I wanted it two inches thick. I'm making a, a coffee table and some end tables uh, out of that piece and this piece here, these two pieces here. But uh, they got karaoke playing, so it's going to be a YouTube license copyright issue, so you probably can't hear me. Uh, I can't, uh, I'll probably have dubbed in sound or something like that. So, anyway, uh, we'll be back with more in my paradise on the Italian Island, just buying some lumber. Bye for now. So they're gonna haul the uh, lumber with us here. So these guys are picking it up and loading it up. They're gonna haul it on that. They're giving it, uh, hauling it to, to our house for free. So, pretty nice of them. Really nice folks here. And uh, so I think we're ready to, ready to roll. We're at the lumber yard here, and we're trying to get some uh, cocoa wood. Trying to get some two by two by eight foot ones. I need 40 pieces. I'm uh, rebuilding the gates uh, at, uh, on my main lot. And so they have to dig through all this stuff to try to find some good stuff. See. Some good straight ones. So he's sorting, sorting it, it all out. And this is cocoa wood here. So this is wood from a cocoa tree. And keep this stuff all stacked up. And when they cut this stuff, they kind of eyeball it. And so you get varying widths. Like this is a two by three. They have two by twos, two by three. Here's a two by two. But as you can see, it's pretty bowed. So I need straight ones for the gate. So this is about all the two by twos. Sometimes you'll get the outer part of the tree, which is this part, but the outer part of the tree is harder, harder wood. It's stronger and hard, harder. When you get into where the core is, the cocoa wood will be really lightweight and uh, just like like a sponge, basically. See so here's here's one here. This is from the inside of the tree. You can see how it's all. You guys see how it's all bowed and stuff. So anyway, they're gonna they're gonna be ripping 40 of these for me. And uh, and when they start doing that, we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. If you're wondering what they cut wood on it's almost all cocoa wood here uh, it's this it's a gasoline powered uh, saw with a I call it a fan belt and uh, I don't know I guess that's about a 14 inch blade there but there's no guide you know there's no guide that you set up here and move it one inch and cut a one inch cut they just kind of <laughs> I don't know they just kind of eyeball it and uh, good enough, you know, you know, for building cocoa houses and stuff. Uh, in the future, when I build something that needs to be straight, I'll uh, just buy the, the bigger pieces of wood like that, and then I'll uh, get a table for saw of my own and rip all my own lumber with a guide, and it'll all be straight. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. So anyway, we're over here at uh, D. Pieces hardware. This is where we buy most of our stuff. They also uh, do the uh, DJ. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but over there it says "Piece of Sound" right there. Piece of Sound. Well, that's uh, that's my architect. He actually uh, runs runs the sound uh, uh, DJ uh, stuff. Yeah. They got huge uh, speakers and stuff. In fact, the architect is designed and built this house. This is his mom's house, so he's the architect on there so he's a pretty decent guy uh, he does good quality work and uh, doesn't screw anybody or nothing like that he's just a, just a real good guy uh, I gotta get him to design a, a different kind of house like a Tahitian house so I've got to take him over to where there's a Tahitian house there's one here on uh, uh, Ventalian Island I'm gonna take him there and show him that and then get him to draw up some plans for that so anyway but this is their lumberyard side here 
and also plywood and stuff like that over there they got PVC they got pretty much all the standard hardware Philippine stuff galvanized pipe over here rebar over here uh, they got some square tubing box tubing they got this kind of like a I don't know chicken wire rabbit wire I don't know what you call it uh, so anyway this is where you get your hardware so again they're pretty decent folks uh, they always uh, do a pretty decent job so anyway still uh, they're sorting out the wood here there, there's a piece there that they're gonna rip for me and then uh, oh, here's actually the stack of wood they're gonna rip for me right here, all this right here they're gonna rip all this Ooh, some of that's really curved bad yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, here's my receipt. So uh, I don't know if they know how to cut a straight line. You see how that is curved there? How that piece goes out and then back and bowed out? I don't know if they're going to just follow that bowed line and cut all the pieces from there will be bowed, or if they'll actually straighten it, which I don't think they will, because that wastes wood, and they don't waste wood here. There we go. So anyway, so these are these are the the pieces they're cut from, and uh, I don't know when they're going to start, but uh, if they start before I leave, I'll let you guys uh, watch how they rip these things. So we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island. Bye for now. They cut off those bad sides. This is not billing to your order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. yeah, he said this is not mine. They got mushrooms growing on on this stuff because it's all uh, wet, and they don't separate it. They don't put anything between there to give the pieces of wood air. So they're just all stacked exactly like this. Just one on top of the other one. Anytime it rains, they just stay wet for how long it stays wet for. There's mushrooms going out of all the <laughs> lumber up there. I don't know if you can see it. Up, up, up there, but yeah. But anyway, here's their plywood and stuff. They have they have, uh, they have the marine plywood, and this is half inch plywood for 710 pesos each. This is uh, ordinary, which is not the marine plywood. So that's 710 for a four by eight sheet of half inch. I just bought some of that uh, to make some tables with some little uh, made some PVC legs and uh, use that for the top of the table so, yeah, there's your electrical uh, conduit plastic flexible stuff so they got like I said everything that you need down here they got uh, uh, see they're trying to keep the wood dry so they do try but it's not very successful they got all kinds of P PVC they got the water pipe they got the sewer and the electrical pipe they also have some, uh, you know, uh, meal cut uh, type wood there that's not cocoa. I don't know, it looks like pine to me, but I'm not sure. That, I mean, they do have pine trees up in uh, Baguio and in the mountains. And that, that's why the Philippines is called Philippines, because it was King Philip's pines of Spain. When uh, So, anyway, yeah, there's some little uh, nice uh, meal cut stuff. They got the corrugated roof here. Uh, plain, plain sheet is what I call it. They call it something else. Uh, lots of cement. So you need cement, any kind. Come get it. These are the flexible uh, water lines that I use for my uh, drip system for the main uh, uh, supply lines. And uh, again, over here, they got different grades of this. This is what uh, uh, they have, uh, like. 600 and 1,000 and that 1,000 is the most expensive 600 is kind of thinner but still pretty decent All right. they fired up the, uh, the saw and they're going to start ripping ripping this stuff and again they just eyeball it. I don't know if you can see that blade but it's kind of bouncing around it's not centered on the shaft here they go
this is an eyeball of two in in inches here. They're, they're just guessing. But they're pretty close almost all, all the time. So there's one. Hopefully that's mine. It looks like a nice straight piece. cement on his head, 90 pounds, 40 kilos. Six more to go. Right. We'll be back. We also have to buy some uh, forks here too. So the fortunate thing is, is that the people that own this, there's also the architect, the son is the art architect, also on either me shop. So we go in here and we buy our pork and eggs. We get eggs and pork and chicken here too. They even got french fries. How, how about that? We're here at the lumberyard slash hardware store and we're getting uh, 40 meters of uh, 6 gauge, uh, they call it drop line for the electricity to run through our property. So apparently these thing is a certain length or something. And it'll run down to the end. Let's see how. That's how they roll it up and tie it in what they call straw. That's a plastic, uh, flat plastic kind of a string thing. And they cut it with some bolt cutters. Yeehaw! All right, thank you. Uh, uh, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. They were out. That's a hardware store there. This is their uh, lumber yard storage yard over here. You've probably seen it before. And over here is the pork store. And you gotta be careful. Smell your pork and stuff before you buy it here or anywhere. Uh, because sometimes uh, it can go bad. We bought. I bought two chunks of uh, our bags of. Uh, lean pork it's uh, skinless no bones no skin and uh about four bags two of them were bad so i took them back and they immediately gave me a refund too so but they need to sanitation is not the biggest thing here <laughs> people don't even know how to sanitize i mean they just keep putting pork in there year after year and never clean the freezers out so anyway we'll be back with more